Uh, thank you, Chairman Reeves and Ranking Member Larson. As uh, my colleague Nick Wor Langworthy has outlined, on February 12th of 2009, uh, there was a fatal crash in Clarence Center, uh, killing 49 people on board and one on the ground. Uh, that evening, I was here in Washington, and I called then Secretary of Transportation Ray LaHood who informed me that the National Transportation Safety Board would be on the ground first thing in the morning, and they are very, very good with their detailed investigations, including the use of forensics, to determine what the cause of this terrible tragedy was. Um, the National Transportation Safety Board concluded that this was an avoidable crash, that it was pilot error which was primarily responsible for this tragedy. Uh, the pilots did the exact opposite of what they should have done based on the training that they should have received. Then and only then did we really realize that there were two levels of safety, one for the larger commercial carriers and a different one for the regional carriers. And the families of the victims got involved with this issue. Uh, they educated themselves. They were very consistent, and they were very clear about taking what the National Transportation Safety Board had concluded and turning that into a Federal Aviation Safety Act with many, many provisions, including the minimum pilot training hours of 1,500 hours. They included addressing issues of pilot fatigue, which was a contributing factor to the Flight 3407 tragedy. Consumer transparency. The pilot records database. Uh, one of the pilots, the captain, uh, actually had a history of problems that under normal circumstances would have precluded that individual from piloting a plane. And the pilot training requirements, like the 1,500-hour rule. As my colleague, Congressman Langworthy, has stated, and we have stated throughout, that since 2010, commercial aviation fatalities have been reduced by 99.8%. Since 2010, commercial aviation fatalities have been reduced by 99.8%. But this year, as the FAA reauthorization process continues, some are calling for the hard-fought 15-hour pilot training rule into question. Again, there was precedent for this, and it's something that we were not aware of before this crash, that the regional carriers were subject to a less uh, arduous uh, pilot training uh, regimen. These changes could prioritize special interests over, passenger, uh, over passengers. Sky, Skywest Airlines is the latest airline attempting to circumvent these critical flight safety standards. So we're just here, both Congressman Langworthy and I, in a bipartisan effort on behalf of the flying public to ensure that this extraordinary record of a reduction of 98.8% of fatalities continue and a watering down, a circumvention of those rules would put into jeopardy uh, the flying uh, public in their best interest moving forward. Uh, just to conclude, the families of Flight 3407, the victims, will be here this week. They'll testify before your committee. And the one thing that stuck out to me right after the crash, they came here collectively and spoke with one voice. And they said that they didn't blame the pilots. They blamed the system that allowed the pilots who were not qualified to uh, get into the cockpit and fly that plane, which was the cause of this terrible tragedy. And they've committed themselves since that time, not because they could bring their own people back, their daughters, their sons, their husbands and wives, but they could keep future families from having to deal with the grief and the tragedy that they've had to endure uh, since this tragic accident occurred many years ago. So we thank you for your consideration of our testimony, and we ask you to please, please take into consideration 
the basis from which these recommendations were made, and that is to the hard work of the National Transportation Safety Board and the families of the victims. Thank you.